Alrighty. So now we're gonna take a curve or you're gonna freehand it or something and you're gonna fix this shoulder seam because although this looks like your arm's eye now, it's not. This is your shoulder seam and it needs to be smooth. So just make sure it's nice, smooth. See how I just edged that out just a little. Made it a small curve, no jagged sharp points. Now what I want you to do is I want you to seam allowance your shoulder, your arm's eye, and your center, uh, your side seam first. Don't seam allowance this down here at the bottom. Don't worry about your center front. Don't worry about this. Just shoulder, arm's eye, side seam. Can you tell I've been doing a lot of half scale work? Okay, now with it still folded up here at the top and still folded along the side, I want you to cut out your seam line and then just cut straight down off the paper. Make sure you're cutting cut line, not seam line, like I just said. Make sure that you're questioning me so you actually are cutting the right thing. Okay, after you've cut it, then I want you to unfold the top and look at the weird shape that you have. I saw that look, Brooke. What the? Okay, so as remember, this is our arm's eye. This is our shoulder. This becomes our facing and the facing down into the arm's eye if we were to continue that cowl to face down into the arm's eye. I don't like that particularly. It causes a lot of bulk in the sleeve area that I'm trying to deal with. So I like to stop it right at the corner of my shoulder, but I still need to extend this seam allowance. So that I know where it is I'm going and how I'm getting there. Okay. Not gonna worry about down here because I know I'm not gonna self face all the way down into the side seam. I, but I need to know where this seam allowance is right here on my shoulder. Okay. Do you remember how deep of a cut we made this V-neck? Okay, that was down from the neck. How long is this piece right here? It's four. So we are going to measure up 
the same distance. And then from the intersection of the shoulder seam and the arm's eye, we're going to draw a straight line. So whatever this distance is here, we squared it up and put that same distance here. This and this are the same. And then I drew from the edge of my facing shoulder seam, not my outside facing, my outside shoulder seam, but my facing shoulder seam to the new line I made. And with it folded long and hot dog direction, so only folded one time, not two times, I'm going to cut this. Now, down here at the bottom of the waistline, if you're putting a cowl neck on, are you still gonna put darts in? Are you still gonna put a waistline dart in if you have the soft drapey of a cowl? Probably not, your fabric probably won't be able to support it. Because in order to get the cowl to drape like you need it to go, it's not gonna have enough structure for darts. So we are just going to smooth this out and we're gonna gather from here to here. So the bottom of my item would come through here, right through here is gonna be gathering. And then I'd seam allowance the bottom. Okay, that means this is no longer applicable, that little part. So we're gonna have a little bit of extra fabric here, but not very much. That's why if you had to cut off just a tiny bit of your center front, it didn't matter. So with it still folded long and hot dog, I'm going to cut off my waist and then I'm going to open my pattern piece all the way and decide where I want my grain lines because that is now your pattern piece. It becomes this crazy thing. Can you see how construction would be a little tricky? Remembering what's an arm's eye and what's a shoulder? Uh-oh, my kid's left in school. Doesn't bode well. Now, I made you some examples. These are not in a muslin because muslin isn't gonna drape like I want it to, to be able to highlight a cowl. And the thing that we're talking about here is how deep is the cowl and which way did we put the grain line? So I have to think about it for a minute because they're crazy. shallow. All right, so with construction, I've got this, my arm's eye, I know it's my arm's eye, then I've got an inner curve, I know that is shoulder. So I'm going to put that together, I'm going to pin it on the shoulder, because it's self-faced, right? Then that just tucks in, that becomes shoulder, so I'm going to put it out here on the shoulder. And then these are my side seams and my arm size. So this is the size of cowl that you just did. 
This is what it with it cut straight on grain, perpen parallel to center front, straight on grain. You can see it's not terrible. Great. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Here is the exact same thing, but cut on the bias. I keep trying to put pins in my mouth to hold on to them. I know I'm not supposed to, but I'm like, it won't work. So frustrated. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that today. You still want to slap bracelets? What? Um, I'll record this separate. Oh, it is still going. Okay. Well, good. Sadly, Savannah just can't see what.